If you guys want the new chapter 6 battle pass, I'm going to be gifting it to 10 people who like and comment on this video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to change your rendering mode in your game user settings. A lot of people don't know you can do this. So yeah, I'm just going to show you how to do it. It's actually really simple. All you have to do is, first of all, decide what rendering mode you want. Obviously, I'm in game here. Assuming you guys are not in game, you don't have to be in game. Of course, I'm just showing you. Of course, I'm just showing you that right here, I'm in performance mode. And now what we're going to do is we're going to close the game and change this to DirectX 11 outside of the game. So make sure Fortnite is closed. Type in local app data percent here and if it doesn't come up there you can type in run and also type it into here it's the same thing when you're here you want to press f on your keyboard or locate fortnite game go here saved config windows client game user settings right click this go to properties and make sure read only in the attribute section under the general tab is untick you then press apply okay now open this out what you want to do is scroll all the way down right to the bottom you'll find this right here d3 drhi preference you can also just press ctrl f on your keyboard and type in here here. let's say you're on performance mode you want to go to DirectX 11 you can type in es31 and that is equivalent to performance mode if you're on DirectX 11 i want to go to performance mode you can change this to d3 d11 or alternatively if you're on 12 d3 d12 and it should come up either way just scroll down i think the best way to do it is to find it here and as you've already probably guessed you want to change this right here so es31 this is performance mode although it says preferred rhi is dx11 this is dx11 this is because and it's actually proof that your DirectX 11 settings directly affect your performance mode settings. So if you're optimizing your game config or your game settings in general, your video settings and your graphics settings, your graphics quality, your advanced graphics, you want to actually optimize your DirectX 11 settings first. I've got a whole video on that. I'll link that down below. So you can check that out if you want. But yeah, I just want to make that clear. That's why it says DX11 here. But this right here is 31. That means performance mode. So for me, I want to go to DirectX 11 for the sake of this video. You guys may want to keep this on or change it to E31. But I'm going to take this away and I'm going to type in D3D11. So D3D11 right here. And if I wanted to go to DX12, I'll change it to D3D12 like that. So for the purpose of performance mode, D3D11, I'm going to press file, save, exit this. I'm now going to go here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to press read only. I'm going to apply this. The only reason I'm doing this, and you only really have to do this for the first launch, is just so the game doesn't force it out of this performance mode when I've changed it. Once you've launched the game once and you're 100% in that performance mode, you can come back here and untick this. But I'm going to press OK. And now I'm going to launch my game. As this is launching, I do want to make a disclaimer. If you guys are switching to DX12, which I don't recommend unless you have an amd graphics card there is actually something else you will need to do so stick around to the end and i'll show you one little extra tip that may if you don't do it will probably and as you know 100 if you don't do it and this isn't ticked it's gonna cause a problem and your game will never launch in dx11 or sorry dx12 if you have done this method so dx12 users or wanna be dx12 users stick around to the end but as we can see here if i go to settings right here i am in dx11 there we go a lot of people don't know this i don't know why people don't know this it's i think it's what it is it's because it's such a like a exact Exact code. It's not clear, you know. There's not like a line in your game config that says rendering mode uh zero or rendering mode one, two, three. Usually, like you know, sound quality, for example, comes up as I think it's like preferred sound quality, one, two, or three, or zero, one, and two. I don't know why they've done it like that. I think weirdly, zero is high quality, one is low quality, and actually, no, three doesn't exist. It's only high and low quality. Yeah, but it's all confusing. This is how you do it. You can also apparently put this into your um Epic Games launcher. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm just gonna quickly close my game here. If you click the free dot here and you go to options and actually no sorry i'm completely wrong if you click the three dots here and you go to manage and you scroll down to launch options what you can put in this box right here also got by the way these are like pretty much placebo i just do it because placebo works so ignore these but what you can do is let's say i didn't have these let me just preserve them in a notepad there we go what you can do is actually apparently launch your game into a rendering mode through your launch options rather than do it in the config in this case you will have to have that read only and tick so you may as well just at that point do it through your game config but yeah i'm hearing there is a way what you can do is if you want performance mode, you can type in this right here, dash feature level ES31. And very similar to what we did in the config. If you want DX12, you do dash feature level D3, D12, or D3, D11 for DX11. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this works. I've just heard it works. So if you want to, you know, if you're watched to the end, you want to try this as a little experiment, go ahead, do that. I'm pretty sure like I'm 99% sure it will work. So yeah, that is just another option right there. And as for my DX12 users that I told to stick to the end, what you want to do is in options. This time, you want to make sure DX12 shaders are turned on only dx12 users want this on because it will affect your performance any otherwise but yeah if you're trying to use dx12 this needs to be ticked in here before you do anything i mentioned in this video so i should have mentioned it at the start but yeah before you do anything i mentioned in this video turn this on if you've already done stuff and you you know it didn't didn't obviously work and you've made changes the best thing you can do now is just to actually verify your game if you go to manage verify your game files right here then make sure this is enabled and then follow this video again from the start but i also should mention that verifying your game files will unoptimize your game 
game. So you'll probably have to, you know, optimize your game settings again. So you can watch. I've got a full game user settings video, actually, that you can watch. The game config file I provide is actually in performance mode. So just make sure if you're watching that, you do still follow this method or you just change it manually in game afterwards, as long as you're not applying that read only. Hopefully that will make sense. If anyone's confused with this still, leave a comment down below. Or actually, it might be easy to join my Discord server because I'm kind of always on there and answering questions. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this worked for you guys. I do want to clarify just once again before I end the video, the read only thing is very important just to force your game into that rendering mode. Just make sure before you change these settings. So from the start of the video, it is not enabled initially because then you cannot change the settings.